Hey guys, today's video we're going to be going ahead and uh, taking out of the box here a Fantex CBRS FL22 Slimline riser cable, which is designed to work with the Fantex Evolve NTHU uh, X case, which supports vertical GPU mounting. So give me a second here, we'll get out of the box and we'll see what it comes with. So you can see, this end is designed to connect to the motherboard, which is currently covered up with a, a protection, a piece of pla protective piece of plastic, but this connects to your PCI Express line on the motherboard. And then down here, we have this vertical mounting bracket, which is designed, uh, it's got a, a little PCB here that you can screw into the case itself. And then this will sit on the bottom of the case GPU mounts into here, and in the back of the case, it'll be like a bracket off the left here, where you'll be able to screw in the GPU just like you would normally in your case, and thus you have like kind of set up like this, uh, but you get the idea. Whereas the this end is connected up here to the PCI Express connection on your board. This end is down at the bottom of the case. Video card is sitting like this, facing out, so you can see it through your uh, tempered glass window or whatever it is that you have in your case. So next up, I'm going to go ahead and get the case opened up here and we will install this riser cable and then I will put the card in it and we'll see how it looks. Be right back. Just to do a comparison, this is the Fantex riser cable that we just took out of the box. This is a off-brand riser cable I purchased a while back for a different case that I was using it in. But just as you can see, this comes down here and then does a nice little angle and we have it vertically mounted allowable at that. This I tried mounting it in there by bending it this way, but it's too tall. And so you can see in the back here, this is where it's going to mount at. And down here, you got two screw points where you can put this on either one of them. So like if you wanted to mount it closer to the outside of the case, uh, you use the outer screw point. If you want to mount it closer on the inside, you can screw it in the back here. And the case came with these two little, well, there's actually came with three for some reason, but this is the style of screw that it came with that you're supposed to, you know, connect it with. So anyways, you get the idea. Use those screws connecting to either here or here. You can slide this forward or back depending on which one you choose so your video card can rest on it if it needs to. I don't think mine's going to probably need a rest on anything. But as you can see, I've got the um, all-in-one cooler on there and it's going to make this kind of interesting. We'll see if this is really going to work all that well or not and how I'm going to have to angle my tubes so that they're not pushing out on the door too much or anything once I get everything closed back up. But given all that, what I'm gonna do now is uh, I'm just gonna kind of take the GPU out and hang it off to the side a little bit, and we can hopefully route this. I don't wanna have to remove the radiator and everything. That's a little bit of a pain in the neck, so I'm gonna try to avoid having to do that extra step if I can. If I can't, then I'll have to do what I have to do. But give me a second here. We'll get this card off of there, and we can see uh, how this mounts and how this connects and get it installed correctly down here. And then we can try to vertically mount our GPU, which is the design and all this. So be right back. All right, so this comes in the box with the case and then you mount the riser card to this little piece of mounting hardware and then this will connect the bottom inside of the case allowing you using these points at the end here there's screw holes there and here at the other side you can connect the case using more standard case screws with that so here i'm going to take this bad boy and we're going to take your screws Now we're cooking with fire. So like I said, the next part is to connect into the case using these connection points right here. And I'll show you where those mount at. All right, so there's two right here. Sorry, the heat just kicked on. There's two points right here, and they're hard to see because it's in the shadows, but there's two points over here for the other side of it. And you choose whether you want to mount it forward or back depending on your airflow situation, how big your GPU is, 
and which one of these brackets you want to use back here. But I'm going to go ahead and push mine further back because it might otherwise bump up against the glass on the outside of the case. So let's go ahead and install this thing. So next you can see on the back here we've got all these different thumb screws and different places whether like I see you want to have it further back or you want to have it further to the front of the case. We're going to go for the back two slots so we can mount our GPU a little further back and like I say so we got a lot. We got a dual slot card here. We got a from a tubing protruding, protruding excuse me that could potentially bump into the glass at the front of the case if I don't push it back far enough. So I'm going to go ahead and remove these two back screws get these uh, little bracket covers out of there and then we'll go ahead and install the card vertically. Let's go ahead and do that. So you may have noticed I had to have the uh, radiator out for a second there to get this in. It just was bumping against the bottom of it. Uh, actually, I pretty much put it back in more or less the way it was. I think the tubes before were on the bottom, now they're on the top. Uh, because like I said, the top of the GPU was bumping against it as I would try to put it in there. And so I had to take it out pr for a moment, put the card in, and put the radiator back in place. And everything that's, that everything's in there, I actually think it looks kind of nice. Um, it would almost be nice if this had some sort of R RGB style on there. I thought maybe I'd try taking uh, one of these H115Is because uh, the Intel bracket for that is the same as this. And I could probably put one on there and then have like big radiator on top and big radiator in front. That'd be kind of cool looking. But uh, anywho, this is the final product pretty much. Give me a second here and I'll turn it on. We can see what it looks like running. Hopefully everything is going to work correctly but thanks for watching the video if you guys like this content please give the video a thumbs up leave a comment in the comment section whether you uh, have a question or just want to say hi it helps me out in the youtube algorithm it promotes your video if you leave comments share the video if you like the content and consider subscribing to the channel thanks a lot and we'll see you guys next time bye Thanks for watching, please like and subscribe.